Well, hello, YouTube. Uh, new Mandela effect, at least a new one for me. Lazarus is no longer in the Bible. Both the rich man and Lazarus and Lazarus was raised from the dead. They are both now Lazarus. Um, as for all Mandela effects, you know, you have to have kind of a personal connection or something that, that ties you to it. And this just happened to be one that I had read before and actually known that it was different because when I read it for myself um, in the Bible and Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth, I went, oh, that's interesting. It's actually different. It's the rich man and Lazarus and Lazarus come forth out of the grave. Um, and I just remember reading that. I couldn't tell you exactly when, but I, I remember there being a difference. And I even had a conversation with my father about it. And so there was something a little more uh, than just kind of vague memory saying it. Um, so anyway, the other day I was looking at this book of stories, uh, Bible stories, and it said Lazarus raised from the dead. And I went, oh, that's interesting. You know, um, Lazarus. I have also been making it a point kind of not to listen to political news and things of that nature like I had been doing for years. Instead, I've been listening to audiobooks. Uh, all the LibriVox recordings are in the public domain, and so you can listen to them for free on your favorite podcatcher or whatever. And uh, so I was listening to Mark Twain's Roughing It, and anyway, in there he makes a quip about one of his characters not being educated biblic biblically and knowing the difference between the poor man and the one that was raised from the dead. So, anyway, I remember Lazarus come forth. And so, let's just start right here and see if we can see what Google will tell us. Oh, uh, oh see, look, Lazarus come forth, KJV. It's the first one that actually pops up here, interestingly enough but you're not going to find it. <laughs> it's all going to be Lazarus. Right? Lazarus. Lazarus. And I was thinking like, wow, that's so odd, you know? Let's even just say search only Lazarus. Now, you would think, again, a lot of times, it, this is how it is with the Mandela effect also. When you search for something the first time, you will get more results uh, the first time than you will the second time. So look even here, and also you will find that the thing that you're searching for, like right here, One God Jesus Christ slide share. September 20th, 2009. I have not clicked on this before, um, so I don't know. But oftentimes, you'll see this in the description, and it's like whatever is pulling from the story or whatever, but when you actually click on it, you won't find it. It'll say Lazarus. Uh, Chuck Smith, Blue Letter Bible. Uh, Mary and Martha concerning the death, death of Lazarus which perpetrated his return. Um, so anyway, you'll see these things. It's, it's kind of common. Anyone that's been into the ME for a while and has tried to search these things, you'll, you'll know. So again, I don't necessarily watch videos anymore. And, you know, I don't try to stay up on all the changes because I've had things that have changed and then changed back like tidy cat tidy cats tidy cats tidy cat um, actually it went from 
cats to cat and back to cats again. Uh, and anyway, so I just am going to go through some of the residuals here that I was able to find. And this was just a search. I hadn't even, this was a new page that I searched this and they were the last two to come up here and you have this one I did see in an earlier search the very bottom one here C2000 series on Luke 12 through 13 by Chuck Smith and the Blue Letter Bible and he says Lazareth um, I didn't actually go and listen to his whole deal or whatever but I've looked in the Bible and it's not there so let's just go here we're gonna this is blue letter Bible and we're gonna search for Lazarus first King James version version zero times in KJV now that's the one that I grew up on that's the one I I went to a private school a Christian school when I was a child and they used the King James version so I did all my Bible memory and things like that out of the KJV so I'm always going to search that first because it's the one that I'm most familiar with anyway Lazarus nope New King James hmm nope NLT nope NIV nope ESV uh, no. CSB. I don't even know what the CSB is. Nope, there's not any there either. Uh, NASB, which I did kind of like for a time. Uh, no, no, none of there. Let's see. NET. And so now we're getting into some ones. I don't even know what they are. Revised Standard Version, RSV. Okay, maybe I might have seen that one. Ah, no, no. <sighs> ASV, American Standard Version. No, it doesn't appear in that either. So anyway, you can go on. You're not going to find Lazarus in the Bible. you're not going to find it. I couldn't find it. I even opened up my physical Bibles and it's not there either. And so we'll go over here. Of course, Chuck Smith, right? Lazarus, right there. Where did they get that? Where, where is this coming from? I'll even just click on it. Because when you click on this one right here, look, it was while he was there at the Jordan River that he got a message from Mary and Martha concerning the death of Lazarus, which perpetrated his return to the city because Mary and Martha, he knew them, and it was their brother, right? So I guess in this write-up here, he's just pulling Lazarus out of thin air. I don't, you know, maybe. So I did a duck-duck-go search here and I'm not even going to go through all these and click and whatever but look John 11 if you go to John 11 it's going to be Lazarus but the raising of Lazarus and then even right here next to it <laughs> raising of Lazarus but Lazarus had died <laughs> and that's the, if you're familiar with the Emmy you know that's the way things work uh, I do believe because there's some sort of AI, artificial intelligence, quantum computer, whatever, I don't know, but it, it catches your searches and then you know, goes through and makes changes on the fly or whatever. But anyway, there's this guy, Lazarus. He, he's uh, like a comedian or something. He does these little things that are pretty funny, but where does he get Lazarus from? Because it's not in the Bible, but he's talking about as you can see here, different biblical people. He's the gossip of Nazareth, right? So Nazareth was where he was raised from the dead. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's maybe that one's a little weak, but where does he get the name gossip of Nazareth? Lazarus, right? It should be Lazarus, of course. 
So this guy here, here's a preacher. He actually says, look at this. We're going to show more. Uh, it says you're more than a conqueror. Uh, where is it? The God that raised Lazarus from the dead. Right? That's what it says right there. Lazarus. Where is he getting Lazarus from? Listen, he even says it. The God that raised Lazarus from the dead. Lazarus. The God. Yeah, he raised Lazarus from the dead. Here, we'll do it a little slower. Here, let's go 0.75. For you where there is no way. The God that raised Lazarus from the dead. And you can even hear the TH on the end of it. Lazarus from the dead. Okay, this is a question and answer thing. I don't even know what it is, but uh, basically it was what makes Jesus' resurrection different from all the other ones in the Bible. Well, check it out. When Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, he restored a beloved brother and ensured the sisters were taken care of. So, Lazarus, where are these people getting this from? If not from the Bible, that I remember. Okay, and then we already did blue letter Bible search. And again, there's the Chuck Smith, Mary and Martha concerning the death of Lazarus. So, it's another ME for me. Um, I've been sitting on this one for... I don't know, a few days since I noticed it. <clears throat> Haven't made a video. Now I did. So, there you go, folks. Have a great one. God bless. And keep looking up. Well, look up towards God. He's not coming back until we see that abomination. And I do believe the abomination is going to be the AI or the beast inhabiting people's minds in their body because know ye not that your body is the temple of God <laughs> so there you go have a good one God bless